to me, that came across as just a little harsh, maybe a touch more negative than positive, not exactly potentially welcoming. Jalen obviously could have just said, hey, we'd love to have Caleb if that happens, but that's not what he said. So Keyshawn, you know Jalen. Do you agree with how this came across? I, 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 I agree how it came across, but I also understand. And I know that, and not only do I know Jalen, I just know when you're on a defensive-minded team, yep. he's a defensive player. He is. One of their top defenders. And they came together on and defense. And they came together yeah. on the defensive side mm -hmm. of the ball. You have to realize that the second half of the season, the quarterback they shipped away for a six-round pick yep. to Pittsburgh I agree. started to he learn did. how to play professional he, football and come into his own to he, a degree he got a hold with of one that. receiver in D.J. Moore Agreed. that went over 1,000 yards. Yep. I've been in that locker room with him. I'm Jalen. I've been in that locker room for three, four years with him. I know what he could be. Yep. Now you're bringing in somebody, potentially, like you said, maybe, maybe he's a guy, maybe he's not. You're bringing him into a locker room. I don't know him. I got to get to know him. But all I see is Wendy's commercial, you do. Nissan commercial. <laughs> you do. You know, and, yeah. and so that's all I see. So now I'm like, okay, is this, what are we doing here? Mm -hmm. We building a team to try to win. And on top of that, we don't have a veteran quarterback at all backing whoever this rookie's going to be. Up. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the guy on the roster right now, they may go get somebody down the line, but as it stands right now, Tyson, uh, how do you say his name? Ba Bajent? Bajent, something oh, like yeah. that? Oh, yeah, Bajent. He had a little uh, run last yeah. year. But he's yeah. the backup. Mm -hmm. yep. Unlike when you look at C.J. Stroud in Houston with Case Keenum as the backup. Case Keenum. So that room mm -hmm. is a little bit different. Sure. That room is a little more... A veteran presence along with the coaches that can teach you certain things that's not the case as it stands in Chicago right now you you're gonna bring a quarterback in my defense is loaded we feel good about our defense and we don't know what we're getting on an offense except a dude that all we talk about is three million dollars that he made in NIL or four million he made in NIL mm. so I understand where Jalen is coming from yeah you got to it's the National Football League. You're going to have to prove yourself. It's not going to be handed to you. It's not going to be given to you. You're going to have to earn it. All of those things. It just sounds a little weird because it's coming from somebody who's a veteran and he just lost one of his teammates and one of his yeah. friends via trade in the entire locker room. For the most part, they wanted to keep Justin Fields. It's a great point. They wanted to keep him. It's a strong point. So, yeah. you know... It, it'll be interesting to see uh, how things unfold, <laughs> whoever the quarterback is in Chicago. All right, I'm going to start with this. I've always thought there was some USC syndrome operating, and obviously you played there and came out as the first overall pick, and you go to New York, and you when got... When you say USC syndrome... We Hollywood mean? syndrome, oh. where it, it has been, it, almost like we talked about the Kentucky Wildcats basketball program, but you're... Your football program has long been a pipeline to the National Football League, and you have been star-studded yeah. in your program you can for go many all years. The way, you can go all the way, I don't like mentioning his name, but you can go all the way back to the juice. Yeah, You're star-studded. Yeah. Hollywood, you post-career. You can mention career. his name, because yeah. when he played football, he could flat-out play Pro, Post-career, all that, yeah. That, that's fair to say. Yeah. That's what we do. Okay. But when you go to the Jets as the first overall pick, you're... They're looking a little side eye, saying, "You're Hollywood. We we want to see. Can you 100%. back this up?" And and you're gonna say, "Yeah." Flip flops, board shorts, Watch and t-shirts. Watch this. Yes. Yeah. First practice. If it's time to block, you're gonna block somebody. Yeah, I didn't have my first practice. Wasn't the best. Yeah. Okay. Well, but I was. I, I had, as we like to call it, I was on the chitlin circuit. That means I was running around doing other things than yeah. prepare myself for mini camp. But go ahead, Skip. But slowly but surely, you showed them. Yes. You were made of. The right stuff, yes. some tough stuff, Absolutely. if not just, you know, flim flammy no. Hollywood stuff, no. right? Uh -uh. All right. So I do think Caleb's going to suffer some of that. Like when he walks into that, if it if it becomes the Bears locker room, oh Hollywood just arrived, you know, because they only know the commercials, they know the bright lights, they know Heisman, they know late night games when they might be trying to go to sleep for their pro football game, and they they're watching USC play at the Coliseum. And Caleb's trying to light it up and run around like Patrick Mahomes. So they're saying, you're, you're going to have to prove this to us. Now we get to Justin Fields. 
I'm, I'm with you on this, and you would have a, a deeper sense of this, but I got the sense that locker room got convinced by him, that, that they liked him to the point that they loved playing with and for him because he was a tough guy, and he took a lot of punishment, and he started making a lot of plays for them, and they got on a later season role, especially on defense, but to a certain extent, as you point out, on offense with DJ Moore. And once you... Once you commit sort of your soul to a quarterback and then all of a sudden your team, for whatever reason, trades that quarterback and, and he's going to be replaced by potentially this guy from Hollywood, that's going to be hard on that guy from Hollywood. He's going to have to do some proving. Absolutely. Yeah. But, but see, the thing about locker rooms, we know what the problems are. We know. When we're in a lot, we, we know. We're the players on the field. Mm -hmm. We know what the real problems are. And the problem wasn't the quarterback. Mm. So our feelings are going to get involved a certain way, as you can tell with Jalen. They know damn well Justin Fields wasn't the problem in Chicago. Yeah. They know that. And you campaigned for them to keep him and, and maybe either take Marvin Harrison Jr. with the first pick or trade back and try to get him with or, the or, fourth or even if Or even if you did. Mm hmm at the end of the day, say, we're still drafting a quarterback with this top pick. You gave him away for a six-round pick. He's only making, I believe, two, two and a half million dollars, something like that, yep. this 3. year. Yep. 2.3. 2.3 mm -hmm. million dollars. Yep. So you couldn't figure out 2.3 million while whoever you draft their quarterback sits tight, and then if it is rocky, slide him into it, or ride it out, and then next year, if you choose to do so, you can move him. Yeah. Now you say, well, it's a lot of money tied up in that position. No, it's not a lot of money, because you don't have to pick up his fifth-year option. You gave him away for a six-round pick. Yeah, if bro. you decided after 2024 season that you want to go with the younger quarterback, then just let him go on about his business. Keyshawn, there's no way they're going to keep uh, Justin and draft Caleb. It's they, they been done do before, know, but though. It, but as, Skip, what did Ryan Pohl say? I don't want to keep Justin in the gray. But you didn't have to. But you didn't have to keep him in the <laughs> gray. You made that decision, okay, way earlier than what you needed to. You made that decision way. You you made that decision <laughs> at the end of the season that you was moving on from Justin Fields. You didn't I, make that decision a week ago. Yeah, I just don't think it'd be fair to either young quarterback because you'd make Justin the lame did, duck, did, did, right? Did, 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 would he did, not be the lame duck? Not necessarily. Well, I mean, that's how it would come across. Maybe, maybe so, but but you got a competition there with two quarterbacks. Didn't the Dallas Cowboys do that with Steve Walsh and, and Troy Aikman? That was a Jimmy. Uh, that, uh, that, listen, that's not what I asked you. Jimmy shattered that's, the mold. That, that yeah. did, didn't Bill uh, Walsh do it with Montana and Steve Young? Yeah, but he thought Joe was on the way out. Joe had played yeah. Steve set behind Joe like yeah. four years know, before he got his first but, shot. But he, he saw the end coming, and so he wanted to start to groom Steve Young. The whole yeah. point of this is it could be done if you wanted it done. Mm -hmm. But because the way you handled it, you had to move on from Justin, which the players in the locker room didn't like that. They don't like that, and you could tell when players rock with other players because they show up to their events, they hang out with them, they go to basketball games with them, they're around them all the time. Now you bringing in a new quarterback, whether it's Caleb or whoever they draft, players that are veteran guys, they're going to sit back and look at this, especially on the defensive side. When that offense is clunking alone, yeah. they're going to be like, man, what, what are we doing? You went out and got Keenan Allen. You went out and got uh, uh, DeAndre Swift. You went out, got DJ Moore a year ago. You probably going to draft some other pot, uh, bodies on the offensive side. Mm. And you paid all this money to all these defensive players, and you're going to slide a rookie quarterback in? It, I guess you're hoping that he does with C.J. Stroud, whoever that rookie is, but that's an outlier. Yeah. C.J. Stroud, that doesn't happen. No rookie quarterback just lights it up like that. I don't think that moment would be too big for Caleb. He, he's already played in Hollywood, which I think is a good thing. He's already won a Heisman. He, did you did you work in Chicago? Mm -hmm. You do understand working in Chicago media in the fan base is different than the USC Trojans in LA fan base. How? 
they so much more negative and aggressive than the people out here. So much more negative and aggressive. Really? It's college football. Yeah. It's college football. Everything is, you said, everything is plush. Everything is, is plush. It's, it, we, we mm -hmm. like them. Everything is just cool. You walk into a restaurant, ain't no problem. I got you. It's handled. Yeah. That ain't gonna be the case in Chicago when you ain't doing something that the other guy was doing at the end of the season. Mm. They start. They want to start off like they ended, Skip. They mm. want to start the season like they ended in Chicago. Mm. The bar is set very low in Chicago because they're still clinging to the 85 Bears. That's all they have to really hang on to. Well, look, think about it. That That's may it. Be, that may be true. No, it is true. But yeah. they saw the way that they played toward the end of the season. Mm -hmm. It gave them hope for the new year. Now, if they don't start the way they ended, it ain't gonna get, it ain't, it's just not gonna, my opinion, it's just not gonna be pretty. They, the, the thing that they should have done is figured out a way to keep that quarterback in Justin Fields. Okay. I believe that Caleb would quickly win over the locker room, not so much inside the locker room, but with his play on the field. I, I don't know that he'll ever be real tight with the team. I think Justin had a better connection with players in the locker room. Caleb's a, more above it all. He's more unto himself. I'm, I'm not sure he would connect with the locker room the way Justin has. But if Caleb can play, Caleb can play. Well, if he can yeah. play, it, it, yeah, it just doesn't matter. a conversation for nothing if he mm. goes in there and he lights it up. That is a fact. You know, but but there's going to be some reservation by some of the veteran players. Absolutely. Especially on the defensive side. Yeah, he would be in prove-it mode to them. Like, we got to see it. Man, I played on a defensive team that was, you know, they they look at the right. offense. It's it's possible you played on the defense. Well, team. yeah, that, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So yeah. I I know the way that they approach the offensive side of the ball. And when Jalen said what he said, I'm like, that reminds me of some of our defensive <laughs> no, players. It does. Absolutely. No, we're talking about Derrick Brooks. How you doing, Derrick? All of them. Uh, um, they they John, John want Lynch. the offense to play and do yeah. things a certain way. Because, as they would tell you, all, all we need is, like, single digits, They feel right? like they work yeah. their tails off, yeah. and the offense, it shouldn't, they shouldn't lose a game based on the offense being stale and yeah. the quarterback being bad. Yeah. And, again, you, you needed to give them six points, nine points, whatever. Yeah, whatever it was. You know, you whatever give it was. To and that's it. Then that's it. That, that will work. It was the same with the Ravens in 2000, and it was the same with the 85 Bears. And we could argue all day and all night which of those three defenses was better. But Derrick Brooks argues with me, has many times, they were the best. And you can make a I, case. I kind of feel that way, but I don't yeah. like getting into that conversation. Simeon Rice. God. I feel like our defense was pretty good. <laughs> oh, God. And they destroyed the NFL MVP in the Super Bowl, as you yeah, well know. Yeah, they took him apart. Rich Gannon. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.